Hi, it's Gary Kay. We're here at Infocom 2017. I'm here with Guy Russell at the Silicon Core booth. Um, Guy, you guys have a product out there in the front. You've nicknamed it Zach, and it's really not a product. Well, I guess it is a product. It's a new driver technology that's going to drive the LED displays across the whole product line. Yeah, we've got uh, basically an evolution to our common cathode uh, LED drivers. And one of the big things that we found over the years of trying to do this is trying to create a uniform image with multiple light sources, the LEDs being the light sources, trying to create that uniform image when the LEDs are being asked to be really dim, basically at the low end of their, their luminance. And traditionally what happens when you're at the low end of the luminance, you see some variation in the impedance based on traces. There's a uniformity basically across the display. Correct, and so we can't create the same sort of uniformity we can at high brightness at the low brightness end. So what we've done is we've mapped, basically actively mapping the impedance variances from pixel to pixel, from diode to diode, in a way that we can now create a uniform image all the way down to almost the very end of the grayscale. So we're getting roughly about a 14-bit from perfect uniform image at minimum brightness to a perfect brightness at maximum brightness. We're getting about 14 bits of dynamic range with this new driver. And this driver is HDR compatible, obviously, uh, with the range that you're going to have. Um, and uh, the big, the big value that well, first of all, it's going to go in the entire product line, including yep. the Lisa, which is which is due to ship sometime later this year. Correct. Uh, which I'm a big fan of the the the, the whole the um, the design that you have, where everything's on one substrate, for lack of a better term, or one yep. PC board. Um, but uh, this this driver technology is mainly because the biggest problem that people have with the, the biggest problem that companies have with LED is when you're showing really dim stuff, not when you're really showing the bright stuff, and then tracking that across all the the panel, right, as well as uh, all the images at all different levels. So what you've done is focused on the 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 on the two fifty uh, the zero to two fifty five scale. You focused on the bottom of that to make sure you're covering and you're increasing the range of your bottom rather than the whole scale itself. So I think what I read was or, or heard somewhere was you you were sort of I don't want to say crushing blacks, but that's kind of the term we used to use. Well, you you have a choice. You're either you're going to crush your blacks, yeah. clip basically when you hit that point of right. non-uniformity anymore, or you're going to allow yourself to go down there, but now you're not going to have that uniform gray or darker blue, darker red, darker greens because of that variance in impedance. So and You went from 13. Like roughly a, we were around 13 out of a 0 to 255 scale yeah. where we'd start losing uniformity to yeah. now around 3. I, I mean that's a substantial improvement. You're talking about a 70 percent improvement in your low end. It's huge and you know typically we're around 1 to 2 nits or so yeah. with the previous technology as a minimum uniform brightness. Now we're at 0.1. And that, that will help you too. I mean I, I'm not obviously as technical as you, but it seems to me that would help you in environments where you have to turn down the brightness of the display itself and run it that way all the time. Absolutely. Increase your range, because one of the time when you do turn down the brightness, you do automatically inherently decrease your range. A absolutely, and one of the other things that's part of Zach is that we're able to make that a more uniform scale when we go from the right. bottom end, you know, the one, two, threes, all the way up to the 255. Previously, that scale wasn't exactly linear. Yeah. Now it's very linear, so we're very consistent across that whole range. Big improvement in mapping to exact accurate colors, which is important in the HDR world. Yeah, and especially and and scalability-wise. So when you grow bigger, you're still consistent across that range. So I actually understand that, and I think it's it's going to be really cool uh, to watch that develop. And uh, I'm excited that I kind of found this as I was walking by. Um, you can check it out at silicon. Uh, SiliconCore-Technology.com, or no, is that? SiliconCore.com. Silicon Silicon, I was looking at the LinkedIn address, SiliconCore.com, and uh, of course you can see information on Lisa as well, which is their, um, Lisa's a, a, an LED technology uh, panel technology where you actually have the drive, where you actually have the, the electronics and the panel itself on one PC board. I shot a video of that and, talk, and I've, 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 I've talked a lot about that since ISE, since I found it at the ISE show. So you can see all that in Google Silicon Core, S-I-L-I-C-O-N-C-O-R-E on our website and you'll find that information. Uh, Guy, I really appreciate your time. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Gary. And thanks for watching. You can see all of our coverage here at Infocom at ravepubs.com.